Welcome back to Buzz TV. I'm Steve Strum. This morning we have Kimberly Miller from FemArt Galleries. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. How are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. So, we were talking offset, got a bunch of stuff. Let me go through yeah. the tick list and make sure we cover everything. Sounds good. First, a uh, military veteran. Yes, uh, I am. Thank you for your service to the Navy, 80 thank to you. 88, if I remember correctly. Yes. Two, duty. fun story about you overcoming uh, some challenges in life. And now, third, moving into a female centric art gallery that you're looking for a place because you're new yeah to help not only show what you do artistically but talk about some of the things of inequality between females and males in the art industry yes have i missed everything anything <laughs> you have not missed a thing so tell us a little bit about kind of what your story is oh well i did serve in the united states navy and jacksonville was my very first duty station and that was in 1980 to 82 and after i was um honorably discharged and enjoyed my eight years of service. I served two years reserves and I became a mom and my whole life changed and um, I was hoping to go back into the Navy after I finished my education but instead being a mom I decided that um, my family would be priority in my life as many women make that choice when they're choosing early on between career and family. Family tends to take the priority as it should, in my opinion. But um, after years of raising my children and um, we moved back here from Massachusetts in 04, and I pursued a career in art. I was doing murals and everything, and I had always wanted to finish my college degree. So in 2013, I went back to UNF and got my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, and although I had been told in the Navy and through other um, sources that um, I would never make it through college because I was not very studious and they did not feel that being a woman I could really make it with all of the challenges of being a mother and everything else. But 2017 I graduated from UNF. At age 29. <laughs> yes, <laughs> actually. Yes. With some experience. Oh, no, plus. I've been 29 for 30. 13 years this year, so it's cool. Yeah. Yes. yeah. This bald spot now, i got to go with 31, <laughs> but it's fine. So tell us a little bit about the FemArt Gallery. Like, how did you get inspired to start well, this thing? Well, I found myself um, at the age of 56 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, and I got out, and I, even though I had a high GPA, I realized the struggle as a woman to try to get into galleries and to try to compete with all of the artists out there, but particularly male artists. And then I looked up um, a little bit about Guerrilla Girls. That's a really sure. great organization that um, brings about statistics of women artists. And I found out that women only make 81 cents per every man dollar in the art world. And we also, even though we make up 51% of working artists, we only get 17% of art exhibits. Interesting. So I said, I need to change that. And I'm also, because I'm an activist, I said, after being involved with the Women's March and in Washington, D.C., um, January, January 21st of, this year. of 17. 17. Um, yes. Or, yes, it was January of 17. And um, I said, I wanted to do something for my community and to help women get a better. A position in the art world so that's when I decided to start Femme Art Gallery. That's amazing. So one of the things we we're talking about is being a new organization you are currently looking for space and yes. one of the things we talk about is how can people uh, reach out to you find out more about you whether it's to look at your art check out your exhibits help find you space how do people connect with you? We, they can go onto our website at femeartgallery.org and they can learn how to become members, volunteers, and they can learn a little bit more about our organization. We are really proud of the fact that we've only been um, a nonprofit for one year, but we've had three art exhibits. The oh. problem is that even though each art exhibit, we've um, exhibited 17 to 22 different artists, our problem is that we do not have enough consistency to really bring about awareness of the great artists that we have. 
Amazing. Especially here in Jacksonville, we have some great women artists. Well, you know, I happen to know somebody who may or may not be standing behind the camera right now who can possibly help you get into that universe and uh, talk about where the art uh, culture is in Jacksonville. Oh, but I love it. For everybody Thank who's you. not in the studio today, yes. femart. Oh, femartgallery.org. Okay, and then Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Smoke Signals. We're Carrier everywhere. Pigeon. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining us. And thank I appreciate you. everything you're doing uh, for the women's movement and everything thank you're you. doing to, to help bring art to Jacksonville. We are a dynamic culture. So Thank you, Steve. Absolutely. Thanks, Guys, Steve. thanks for joining us today on Buzz TV. If you like us, share us. And remember, live with gratitude.